Hey guys, I'm Huck hanging out at the Comic Wow Studios to give you today's Fan 5 at 5. This is your Fan 5 at 5. My fave. Welcome to Fan 5 at 5. Hey, and this is your Fan 5 at 5. Fan 5 at 5. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what's the show called? Damn it. Fan 5 at 5. Fan 5 at 5. Fan 5 at 5. We're going to talk a little bit about Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Published by Archie Comics, created by Dan DiCarlo and George Gladder. Pretty much it's about this girl, Sabrina, going through life as, you know, a typical teenager. Whatever, she's growing up, she goes to high school. But the kicker is, she's got to discover and learn how to control magical powers. All right, let's start with the basics. Orange into apple. Now you concentrate and point. Come on, try it. Apple, pineapple. That's very close. No, it's not. It's not that easy. So she lives at home with her aunts, Hilda, Zelda, and their cat, Salem Saberhagen. They live in Greendale, not too far from Riverdale, where Archie, Jughead, Betty, Veronica, Moose, everybody is. It's a spin-off series, and it turned into a bunch of different series, an animated series, a live-action TV series, a live-action movie, and a bunch more. So I'm going to tell you five facts about the series that you have to know. Fact number one. Sabrina's first appearances in the 60s were based off of an actress named Kim Novak, who actually played a witch in a romantic comedy called Bell, Book, and Candle. Fact number two. In the comic books, Sabrina wants to be a good witch, but everybody, especially her aunts, want her to be evil, bad, villainous even. But in the TV series, it's exactly the opposite. Sabrina is constantly trying to do bad things, get around the rules, especially in that big magic book, and her aunts are always telling her she's got to do everything the right way, go straight, by the book, follow the rules. Hey, maybe I'll turn Mr. Poole into... No, now be careful pointing your finger at people. Fact number three. The series actually was supposed to be a one-shot, but once it came out and people were like, oh my god, Sabrina! It grew into tons of popularity. Fact number four. Like any teenager, Sabrina has likes and dislikes. She likes her cat Salem, casting spells and flying on her broomstick at night. She dislikes trolls, evil spirits, and when her spells backfire, which happens quite a bit. Finally, fact number five. Everybody thinks Sabrina got her powers at age 16 because that's what the TV show says. Actually, she was born with them. And as a kid, she would often bring TV images to life, like elves and dragons. So I just gave you five awesome facts about Sabrina and the Teenage Witch. What are you waiting for? Get out to your local comic book shop and pick a comic up. So there you have it. You just watched another great video, or at least I thought it was great. And if you did, make sure you comment below what you thought was great about it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, we're on all other social media platforms. So if you look up Comic Wow, you're gonna find us.